I'm out here in Oshkosh at the EAA Museum, where today is a very special day here. It is the 70th anniversary. Now, I'm in the Founders Library, and I have Dick Napinski here with me right now. Tell me where I am and how special this is to you guys. This is a very special spot for us. This is a recreation of the 1950s EAA International Offices, which were in the basement of Paul and Audrey Poberesny's house uh, in Hales Corners, Wisconsin. Paul was a pack rat, and so he saved everything. So what you're seeing behind us really are the original desks, chairs, filing cabinets, probably some of the letters, the calendars from the late 50s, early 60s, everything that was in their house from the mid-1950s until 1962 when they built their first official headquarters outside their home. That is amazing. Just to see all this is very historic. You can see it in the background of the pictures of him as well. Now, for those who don't know who Paul is, who is he? Paul Poberezny is our founder. He was the guy who brought together on January 26, 1953, about three dozen of his friends at what's now Timmerman Airport in Milwaukee. And they just wanted to start a local flying club of those who built and restored airplanes in, in the Milwaukee area. Well, it caught on, found some kindred spirits throughout the nation, and pretty soon they had thousands of members, and today it's grown into 270,000 members and 900 chapters around the world. That is fantastic. Now, you showed me a little bit of a trophy room as well. Now, these rooms are very rare for us to see as well. They're not open all the time. He had a ton of trophies, but there's something unique about that, right? Uh, there is. You know, he was just a guy who came out of high school, barely a high school education, and, and came forward and started a whole new section, a whole new facet of recreational flight. And people gave him stuff. You know, he'd go places and they gave him awards. And he was a judge at the Reno National Air Races for a lot of years, received awards for that. So uh, there's a trophy room here. There's stuff with his memorabilia back here. And every so often, we'll open up these rooms and let the public see them as well. Oh, it's so fantastic to see. There is a ton of stuff here. Very historic. Um, what is your favorite piece, I guess, in this room? What really draws your eye? Well, some of the things that draw my eye, you, you take a look at some of the calendars and and so forth and say, wow, you know, people were interested in flight and some of the same things that Paul answered back then, we're still answering those questions. It's new generations, two, three times over, but you still answer those questions about uh, our member, what do we do now, and, and so on and so forth. To think that linkage is back there and there's still some members around from that era who we get to talk to. That is awesome. And now what it's turned into today, you have a very cool thing going on this week. What is that? It's Home Builders Week. We have thousands of people from throughout the country sign up for our webinars, learning how to build airplanes, restore airplanes, get those skills, whether it's electronics, fabric covering, avionics, all of those things. And we have a grand total of 30 webinars throughout the entire week, Monday through Friday, and people can tune in and learn about the skills needed to build or restore their own airplane. I love this. Thank you so much for all that you do. We're going to dive into even more as we go throughout the next hour and a half or so, so keep it here. But it's pretty cool to see this world of aviation. It really goes well with the world of meteorology as well. We'll talk more coming up, but keep it here.